What's going on, Lee Jim Bees? Matty Ice here from Leech for Locals. Got an awesome video for you today. I'm going to be sharing with you my uh, three brand new uh, workflow automations that I have created inside of Go High Level for my SaaS product. They're really, really cool. I've got some great feedback from uh, my, my SaaS clients about this. So I wanted to share them with you. Hopefully got, uh, give you some ideas that you can implement in your own business or maybe for your clients as well, just depending on the industry that you're serving. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to break them down and then I'm going to actually show you how to create them as well. They're, it's pretty easy. All right. As usual, my only ask is if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Uh, always have good stuff for you guys there. And if you don't mind, please go through my affiliate links. It really does help support the channel. All right. Let's rock and roll. So <clears throat> let's just do a quick breakdown of these automations. And um, here's the other thing too, guys, is uh, 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 I don't remember exactly which ones, but the uh, I know two out of three of these were actually requests from my clients. So make sure too that uh, with your with your SaaS product, or I guess just your agency in general, have an option to where they can fill out some type of feature request, uh, because I've had, I've received some really great ideas from my clients, just letting them, uh, letting me know, hey, you know, we think this could work, or can you add this or whatever? So just keep that in mind. Um, this first one here is called not contacted follow up. And uh, actually, let me show it to you in uh, the pipeline here really quick. All of these are automations that my SaaS clients can trigger automatically by simply putting their prospects in a, a particular stage. That's uh, pretty much what we're doing here. So I'm in the opportunities tab inside of my SaaS product and go high level. And the first one here is not contacted follow up. The next one is not interested. And I, I might actually rename this, but we'll get into that in a minute. And then uh, application sent. All right, so these are my three. Uh, I basically added three brand new automations uh, using the workflow builder for these uh, stages in the pipeline uh, so that my clients can very easily trigger them. So not contacted follow up is really good for prospects who request a call, uh, but don't pick up the phone. You guys are probably familiar with this. It's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. Maybe people just don't want to talk on the phone. Maybe they're actually that super busy. But this is great for people that you've contacted you know, or tried to call like five, six, seven times, whatever, and you just cannot get them on the phone. You can put them, uh, basically what I've done is I created an automation that my clients can put them in and it'll send a series of emails and text messages with the next step of the funnel. And I'll break that down in a second or I'll show it to you in a minute. Not interested is the next one. Really good for following up with prospects every 45, 60 days, maybe 90 days, whatever. We always, uh, you know, as part of the business, we get on the phone with people who are like, yeah, I'm not ready right now. I'm interested, you know, contact me in a couple of months, whatever. All right. So we don't want to put too much effort into that, but we do want to follow up because you never know when that deal is going to close. So you can actually automate that process. And I'll show you that in a second as well. Application sent. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be an application. It could be a proposal as well uh, for your agency, whatever. But it's basically for prospects that, you've sent them something to move forward with your service or your product or whatever. And it's been a few days since you've heard from them, you haven't received anything back. So you can put them into the stage, triggers the automation to get them back on the phone, uh, asking them if they have any questions, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's the breakdown. Let me show you actually what, uh, what's included in all these automations and how to create them. So we're just going to go to automation or workflows, uh, just depending on the sidebar that you have. This is really easy to set up, guys. Uh, it took me not, not very long to set these up. All right, so you'll create a new workflow. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to go to the ones that I have right now. I think they're in advanced follow-up. Yes, let's start with, uh, what was the first one? Not contacted. Let's start with that one. All right, so it's going to be not contacted app link. That's what I decided to call it. All right, so here's how the workflow goes. All right, so I have a few different pipeline stages that I that I set this up with because I have different pipelines for my clients depending on the industry that they want to target uh, for their marketing. All right, but the workflow trigger is essentially, whoops, uh, you're going to find, um, yeah, and keep it on CRM and you're going to find pipeline stage changed right here. And then you're going to select the stage, which in this case was not contacted follow-up, okay? So we have that. Uh, so we have our trigger. So anytime you put somebody in that stage in your pipeline, it's going to trigger this automation. What I have it do is I have it wait 10 days. And the reason for that is because I want to give my clients, uh, the, uh, enough time buffer to actually make those calls to try and get them on the phone. Um, because that's ultimately the goal, right? But I also want the automation to reach out to them, uh, to the prospect if they can't get them on the phone, right? So we wait 10 days. You don't have to do 10 days. It's up to you. And then from there, I, uh, we send them an email and a text. I'll just show you what the text says here really quick. 
haven't been able to reach you regarding what you requested. Uh, so I sent you out an email with a short loan application uh, that you can fill out in your own time. So uh, again, this is this <clears throat> what you're having them do, I guess, uh, with this particular automation depends on the business that you're in. My SaaS product is specifically for uh, business loans. So we send out obviously loan applications, right? And the idea is to get them on the phone, get the application submitted and they get funding for their business, right? But when they don't pick up the phone, what this automation does is it automatically sends the loan application that we have built out for them inside of Elite Broker. So that, uh, because here's the thing is, again, it doesn't, just because they're picking up the phone doesn't mean they're not interested necessarily. It just means they're busy. They don't want to get on the phone. Maybe your phone number is coming up as a scam. You, you just don't know. And that's why they're ignoring you. But if that doesn't mean they won't take that additional step or that next step in their own time. So whether you have a, a questionnaire application, a proposal, whatever it is, you can put that in the automation for them to, uh, to do in their own time. All right. It's better than nothing, right? It's better than just continuing to call and not get in touch with anybody. So uh, sending that email and text really does make a difference. Uh, we wait two days, we send another email and we're just going to keep adding to this. All right. And um, <clears throat> this links out to a funnel that I have built inside of, uh, it's called Elite Broker. That's my SaaS product. All right. And it takes them to that funnel step uh, to have them fill out the application. All right. So that's that automation. Uh, really, really good stuff. Um, what's the next one? Uh, not interested. <clears throat> so let me find that one really quick. All right. Not interested follow up. And like I said, I'm probably going to rename this. I, it's, I, I don't want it to be misleading that this is only for people who say, Oh, I'm not interested. Don't call me anymore. Like that's not what this is. This is basically not interested right now, but call me, contact me in the future. Stay in touch. That's basically what this is. All right. It's going to be the same type of trigger where just, uh, pull this one up where uh, we're selecting the pipeline and then we're also selecting the pipeline stage, all right? So again, making it as easy as possible for your clients or you and your own business to uh, trigger these automations by simply putting them into a certain stage in your pipeline. Works awesome, all right? This one's gonna wait 45 days. Uh, we're probably gonna break it up between like 45 and 60 days where we send the email. Uh, obviously, we're gonna keep adding to it. This is a brand new automation. So we're basically just saying in these emails and texts, <clears throat> um, sent you an email, touch and base as promised regarding our last conversation about X, Y, Z, whatever you had that conversation about. Let me know if anything's changed and if I can help at all. Either way, I hope you're doing well, blah, blah, blah. And then in the email, we have a button at the bottom where they can click to book a follow-up call if they want. Again, it's all about just uh, creating as many touch points with these prospects as possible. So uh, really, really powerful stuff. Uh, very easy to set up. And all of this stuff, guys, um, I, again, check out my Go High Level tutorials in the description. I show you how to use the workflow builder. It's really easy. But all you're doing is clicking this plus sign, like for the wait element right here. You scroll to the bottom, click wait, type in uh, how long you want the wait time to be, how many days, hours, whatever it is. Same thing with the email. You click, uh, you send email, send SMS. That's really all we're doing. Okay. Go High Level makes it very easy to do these things. That's why I love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Application sent. Uh, let's pull that one up here really quick. All right. Uh, and actually, uh, yeah, so I have two, I guess it's, I guess it's technically four automations, but this fourth automation for the remove one, um, I actually have it for, uh, not interested as well. Um, I'll show you these in a second, um, because obviously we don't want to, like, if you get in touch with these prospects or they book an appointment or whatever, we don't want to continue sending those automations. It looks unprofessional. looks It looks automated, right? We don't want to send an automation, uh, an automated email and text saying, hey, just following up, uh, haven't heard from you in a while, seeing how business is doing when you just spoke to them last week, right? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. All right. So I'll show you that in a second, uh, but let's finish up the actual automation itself. So this is application follow-up. And basically what this is, so you notice this is a different trigger. Uh, this is if the prospect remains in this particular stage for an X amount of time, this workflow is going to trigger. This is a really cool trigger. Uh, I really like this one. Um, I don't know why I keep doing that. So we're going to choose stale opportunities this time as our workflow trigger. We're going to do the pipeline, pipeline stage as usual, and then the duration and days. We wait five days. So basically what's happening here is my clients, <clears throat> they've sent out an application for the prospect to complete so that they can get pre-approved for funding. Uh, but five days has gone by. We still have not received that application back. So now the system is going to follow up with an email 
uh, in a text, trying to get them to either respond via text or book a follow-up call to answer any questions, walk them through the application process, whatever it is, right? So stale opportunities for the workflow trigger on this one. And then we just, again, email, text, wait five days. We're going to continue adding to it, obviously. And we're just following up regarding the loan application I sent you, get a chance to complete it or have any questions. That's it. Nothing, nothing complicated, no, nothing magical about it. All right. Now, let me show you the, uh, oh, one other thing uh, about these is that like this one, I believe I have it set to turn off on response. Yeah. Because again, you don't want to keep following up with people if you're, you or your clients are in the middle of uh, going back and forth with a conversation with the prospect. So I usually turn on uh, stop on response for these types of things. So just keep that in mind. But we also do have some remove automations as well that clients can trigger. So for example, this application one, uh, if we go back to, well, I won't go back. Well, I guess we can do it really quick. Opportunities. I'll show you in the pipeline here. We have two stages where so application sent and then application received. So essentially what happens is if my client gets in touch with them, with the prospect or they receive the application back and they put them into the stage, it will turn this automation off. That's what you want. Because again, we don't want those emails and text messages going out if you're in communication with the prospect. All right, so let's go back to automation really quick, workflows, and I'll show you how that works. It's pretty simple. So application follow-up. I basically have it set up with, uh, yeah, I, I, either an appointment gets booked or my client moves them to that application received state or actually any stage. That's right. Because think about it. If, um, if your client or you are, you're, you're moving somebody from one stage to another, that obviously means you're in contact with them. We want to stop that, uh, that particular automation. So I didn't even select a, a specific pipeline or stage. I just did pipeline stage changed in general. Um, plus appointments, just any appointment booked, it's now going to remove them from the application follow-up workflow. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the not interested one, we have a removal automation as well. It's pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, this one's pipeline stage or appointment remove from not interested follow-up. That's it. All right. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, anything else? I, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to cover uh, in this particular video. Yeah, so those are my <clears throat> my three new uh, automations that I added to my SaaS product, guys. Again, I, I got some really good feedback. Um, plus, they were requests from my actual clients. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you, you, you can find some use for these types of workflows. You want to put as many in place as you can uh, to, to make sure you're creating as many touch points with your prospects as possible. Because the more you do that, just in the more conversation... The more conversations you're going to get, the more deals are going to close, period. We just need to get you having more conversations. So these workflows really help. So anyways, guys, hope you're crushing it. Really appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.